What's up guys, this is Comjack here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get your own weapon from your mind into the game running with rifles. Now, this process is actually really, really easy, so I'm going to go through pretty much every single step. You need to get whatever weapon you want in the game. So, let's start with the two programs that you're going to need. You will need Sproxel, which you can find on this thread in the mods uh, subthread of the forum. So find running rival convert model editor conversion tool and get Sproxel for free and get the latest version. So that's all you need. That's the first thing you need. Then you need to go all the way down to the bottom of this first page and download this zip file. Once you have both of them, you're going to want to unzip Sproxel to running with rifles. Just unzip it onto the desktop. Uh, it should be desktop unless you want to do some crazy CDing in the command, command prompt and install Sproxel. Don't worry, it doesn't have viruses. So here's Sproxel for me. So I open up Sproxel and it's as simple as that. Now you're going to want to learn the controls through the website that you downloaded in, but I'm just going to assume that you already know how to do this. So the standard dimensions you're going to want for an assault rifle, like a full-size assault rifle, would be about 32 to 35. I'm just going to say 35 for the hell of it. Um, obviously, longer rifles will be longer and shorter ones will be shorter. Well, you know, common sense. Three wide. And you're going to want it to be about 8. Well, 8 is about average. You know, if you want taller weapons, go nuts. If you want wider weapons, that's here. Taller, go here. Hit OK. So, I'm going to tell you right now that this is the front of your weapon. Right here, the part that I'm filling in. And this is the back. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. But, um, here, let me turn off the grid for you. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're modeling because it'll save you a lot of trouble later on down the road. So when I make my weapon models, I generally just start with the barrels. So I just choose a middle point or wherever I want my barrel to be, leaving adequate space underneath and above, and just go right across the line. That's like the centerpiece of my gun. I'm actually going to extend my grid dimension up so I can have a taller gun. And I'm just going to slap together a really weird piece of crap gun because I don't really care. I'm just showing you the process. So, la di da di da. La di da di da. La di da di da. I'm. This is. Uh, this is completely random. <laughs> Please know this is not representative of my modeling skills. Okay, so. <laughs> I guess this will do. Um. I don't know what else you want me to do, man. That looks like a gun. So that's the front, that's the back. Well, let's color this bright pink. Oh, yes. So, obviously, you're going to want to shade it yourself. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm actually shading and just go la di da di da di da Okay, this, is, this just looks like puke right now, but <laughs> hey. So once you're done, you're going to want to save it. Save it as. And save it to your desktop. As a CSV. So call it whatever you want, so pink stick of, I actually keep it in one word, pink, wow, pink stick, okay. So that's all you're really going to need in Sproxel, so you may as well close it unless you want to make color edits and if the colors look a little wrong in running with rifles or it's a little short or something like that is wrong, but generally you're not going to need it anymore. So you just close that and you will, where did I save it to? I'm pretty sure I saved it to my desktop. Did I not? Oh, I'm, I know where I saved it. Okay, so instead of messing up like I just did, save it to your desktop here. And that's probably where it is. Where's pink stick? Okay, I'm a little scared because it's gone now. So let me just pull this up again. Sorry about this. 32, 3... Let's keep it at 8, and I'm just going to fill this in. Yep, okay. So, sorry about that. There you go. Nice pink gun. I don't know where it went. Oh, I must not have saved it to desktop. So, there you go, CSV. Let's call it pink stick. Okay. So, done. Close that. There it is. Ignore this one. Whatever. It's a little bugged right now. Get rid of it. And so you should have whatever uh, CSV you want and Sproxel to run with rifles. Hit Command R, Command Prompt, CMD, and CD to the desktop. 
Now, this is, these are all the commands that you're going to need. So if you read through this, it will tell you you just hit enter when with Sproxel to run with Ryle without any inputs. So let's put the actual inputs in. You want input.csv. So what is it called? Pink stick.csv output. So assault rifle one dot XML offset for most rifles. Uh, you're going to want about negative 22 to negative 25. You're going to have to tweak that until you're happy with it. Offset Y about negative 3, negative 2. You may even not need one if it's a really fat gun. And offset Z, you're generally not going to need one unless your gun is off center from the middle axis where it rotates. Uh, flip X, you don't need as long as your gun was pointing the direction I told you to point. And you hit enter, and out it comes. So you're going to want to open up a test release. Well, for me, it's a test release. And head into. Well, here's the installation folder. You go into Packages, Vanilla, Models. So this is where all the models are. And so usually I test it using Assault Rifle 1 because it's just easier for me. However, you can name it whatever you want. So let's get rid of this guy here. Let's rename this Pink. Just drag it in here. So there's your new rifle in the Models folder. Can't see that very well. There it is. Next thing you're going to need to do is go into weapons and copy a weapon that you kind of want to use as a base point. I'm going to delete this here again. This was from a previous video. So let's copy the AK-47. Let's copy it there and we'll call it... You have to name it something different. You cannot name it pink or else you'll get an error. So let's call it pink G. Open this up and these are all the stats you're going to have in the for the weapon. So retrigger time is your rate of fire. So the lower it is, the faster you'll shoot. Let's put a pretty ridiculous retrigger time on it. 0.05. An accuracy factor is how accurate it is. Sustained fire growth step is, I believe, how fast you lose control of your weapon. Sustained fire diminished rate is how fast you regain control of your weapon after you hold down fire. Magazine size, uh, self-explanatory. I'm going to make it 300 just because I can. Can't shoot standing, yes or no. Suppressed, yes or no. Name, uh, let's call this... Pink Panther. Oh yes. Class, I'm not really sure what that is. I believe that's explosives or not. Projectile speed is how fast your projectiles go. These are animations. I'm not going to deal with them in this video because honestly I don't know how to really do them right now. But these are separate. These are with the characters. These are bounded characters. Um, this is the shot sound. So you're going to want to find a good sound for your rifle and download it and stick it in here. Well, obviously, you're going to want it in sounds, so stick it in there and copy that name here. Magazine in and out. Uh, three more sounds. Rechamber. The mod file name, this one's important. You're going to need to name this to pink or whatever it was before. Make sure that this name does not equal that name or else you will get errors. Uh, HUD icon, I'm also not going to be talking about doing those. I'm just going to use the AK1. You can make that whatever you want. Your commonest value, the lower it is, the more rare. The higher it is, the more, the less rare. You can, it's not limited to one. You can have a value of two. It will simply compare this commonest value with the commonest values of all the other weapons. And it will, you know, distribute the weapons that way. So, kill probability, let's change this to one. Kill decay start time and end time, that's that's when the bullets start to lose their lethality. So at 0.75, which is the end time, the bullets are no longer lethal. So at 0.75 seconds of travel, I believe. At 3.5, it starts to lose lethality. And that's actually it. So save this. Remember, it's called Pink G. Go to All Weapons. And... Yep. Stick that right in there. You don't have to replace the AK-47. You can add it on. I did just because. I actually don't know why and come in here and you'll be good to go. So you're gonna to wanna to run it in debug mode, so make a shortcut, and in the target box, add debug mode at the end of it. Simple as that, no dash, no nothing, just debug mode. Double click that and it, the game will start running. Oh boy. Loading, 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 loading. Hopefully, you will see a bunch of pink boxes being carried around that will shoot at 
how many how many bullets per second? What's 60 divided by 0 0.005? All right, so there they are. There are the pink guns. So I don't, I don't think you have sound. I think I have sounds turned on. Let me turn on sounds real quick. So yeah, you can see this is a pretty ridiculous gun, but you can kind of tell where the bounding boxes are. So this is a this is the entire 32 by 8 by 3, and you can kind of see it. So when you have an actual weapon that you're going to care about, hit F4, and you can zoom in to look at it. You can't zoom in too much, or else you get something like that. But you can zoom in decently and get a good idea of its positioning. Now that's important because what am I doing? When you do this, you're going to want to make sure you want to adjust these numbers to match what you're seeing on the screen. So let's say it's too far into his shoulder, like back that way. You're going to want to increase the X offset. If it's too high or if it's too low, you're going to change the Z, uh, Z offset. I'm sorry, the Y offset here. And the Z is if it's to the left or the right. And it's flipped, then you're going to want to turn flip X on. Just hit put, like just do a 1 at the end. That'll flip it. Oh, yep. So before you're doing that, you're going to want to first change your visual quality options. You're going to want to change voxel size to max. That way you can look at it much closer. Like right here is kind of where the box will start to break apart. But if I were to have it at the normal, you'll notice that you really can't get close without them breaking apart. And it's harder to see exactly what your weapon is doing up close. So that's what you're doing when you check out the positioning. You want to keep voxel size big so that you can zoom in more to look at the relative position of it, of the rifle. And yes, you can play in 3D third person mode. Doesn't really work too well because you can't move. And that's our ridiculous gun. Look at that. 300 bullets, super fast <laughs> firing time, and let's go find some greys to kill. Eh. Everyone has a pink gun. Remember the commonest value I set to two, so pretty much everyone should have one. Actually, just gonna kill myself real quick. Spawn somewhere with enemies, or I'm just gonna spawn like two feet away. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, this, that's the main. That's the main gist of adding your own weapons. You can add, I believe, an infinite number of weapons, really. I mean, if you look on the forums, you'll find a mod called Never Ending Weapon Armory, and that has upwards of, what, 30 guns in it right now? So you can kind of go nuts with whatever you want. That's part of what makes this game really fucking cool, is the mod ability. So yeah, this is, yeah, this is pretty hilarious, but... I mean, I hope you've learned a lot in this video, and I hope to see many, many crazy, crazy mods coming in as more players get into this game so yeah thank you for watching hope you had a good time and have a good night